Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn to predict if the solubility of a given slightly soluble salt is pH dependent and if so, whether the solubility increases or decreases with the pH. The pH of a solution can affect the solubility of many slightly soluble ionic compounds. As an example, let us take a saturated solution of silver hydroxide in which solid silver hydroxide is in equilibrium with Ag plus and OH minus ions. The KSP for this reaction is 1.5 times 10 to the negative 8. We can calculate the solubility of AgOH from the KSP value by setting up the ice table. At the beginning, that is before the dissolution of any AgOH, we have zero Ag plus and OH minus ion. Let us assume that S is the molar solubility of silver hydroxide. That is, S moles of silver hydroxide is dissolved in one liter of water. Therefore, S moles of Ag plus and S moles of OH minus are formed. At equilibrium, we have S molar each of Ag plus and OH minus ions. Substituting the equilibrium concentrations of Ag plus and OH minus into the KSP expression and solving for S, we get the solubility of AgOH, which comes out to be 1.2 times 10 to the negative 4 molar. The hydroxide ion concentration in the saturated solution of silver hydroxide is 1.2 times 10 to the negative 4 molar. If we calculate the pOH of this solution, it comes out to be 3.92 and the pH is 14 minus pOH, it comes out to be 10.08. Let us say we add a strong base such as sodium hydroxide to this solution. Addition of the strong base increases the pH of the solution. The added OH minus ions stresses the equilibrium between the solid AgOH and its respective ions. As a response, the equilibrium moves to the left, increasing the amount of solid silver hydroxide and decreasing its solubility. On the other hand, if we add a strong acid such as hydrochloric acid to it, this decreases the pH of the solution. The added hydronium ions react with the hydroxide ions present in the solution to form water. We know that the equilibrium constant for this reaction is 10 to the positive 14 at room temperature. That is, the equilibrium lies towards the products. So, the added hydronium ion acts as an absorbent of hydroxide ions and decreases its concentration and stresses the existing equilibrium. As a response, the equilibrium moves to the right, decreasing the amount of solid silver hydroxide and increasing its solubility. To understand this concept more quantitatively, let us dissolve silver hydroxide in two different buffer solutions, one with the pH less than the pH of the saturated solution of silver hydroxide and the other buffer with pH higher than the pH of saturated solution of silver hydroxide. I pick buffer solutions with pH 4 and pH 11. In the next slide, we will see what happens to the solubility of silver hydroxide when it is dissolved in these two buffer solutions. Now, let us dissolve silver hydroxide in a buffer solution whose pH is 4, which is lower pH than the pH of the saturated solution of silver hydroxide and determine by how much the solubility is increased. The pH of the buffer is 4, Therefore, the pOH is equal to 14 minus pH, which is equal to 10. The concentration of OH minus ions is equal to 10 to the negative 10. Since this is a buffer solution, the concentration of OH minus ions in the solution is maintained even when 
small amounts of external acid or base is added to the buffer. Indirectly, we are saying that the pH of the buffer solution is maintained. Therefore, let us assume that the hydroxide ions produced from the silver hydroxide will not change the equilibrium concentration of hydroxide ions in the solution. So, at equilibrium, we will have 10 to the negative 10 molar hydroxide ions in the solution and S molar Ag plus ions in the solution. Substituting the equilibrium concentrations of Ag plus and OH minus ions into the KSP expression and solving for S, we get the solubility of AgOH is 150 molar. The low pH buffer definitely increased the solubility of silver hydroxide. Next, let us dissolve silver hydroxide in a buffer solution whose pH is 11, which is higher than the pH of the saturated solution of silver hydroxide. And then determine by how much the solubility is decreased. The pH of the buffer is 11, therefore the pOH is equal to 14 minus 11 comes out to be 3. The concentration of hydroxide ions in the solution is 10 to the negative 3. By the same explanation as above, at equilibrium we will have 10 to the minus 3 molar OH minus ions in the solution and S molar Ag plus ions in the solution. Substituting the equilibrium concentrations of Ag plus and OH minus into the KSP expression and solving for S, we get the solubility of silver hydroxide is 1.5 times 10 to the minus 5 molar. The higher pH buffer decreased the solubility of silver hydroxide.